Hi Kellen, my name is Joy. I'll be guiding you through your exam today. When you are ready, please make your way to the exam room. How can I help you today? We will be having you stand for the next few exams. Please make your way to the highlighted space. Frame yourself within the outline for your weight and height measurements. Please move a bit more to your left. Perfect. Please remain still for measurements. Your height is 5 feet 11 inches. If you would like to take a pause and read any metrics further, please let me know. Your current weight is 152 pounds. Your average over the last month is 149 pounds. This is a healthy weight for you based on height and gender. Your body temperature appears normal at 98.6 degrees. No fever symptoms. Next will be your stethoscope examination. You will be using the wireless stethoscope located in the drawer to hear how your heart and lungs are doing. Place the stethoscope on your body in the highlighted area as shown on screen in blue. Make sure the larger side of the stethoscope is facing you. You did great. Now, take three deep breaths. Your lungs and heart sound healthy. No wheezing or heart murmurs were detected. Thanks. Please place the stethoscope back into the cabinet. Next up is your oral health exam. Open your mouth, please. Everything appears healthy and well. Thank you. You can return to your seat for the rest of your exam. Next up is your vital health exam. Place your arm on the armrest next to your chair. Gently grip the end of the armrest. This helps maintain a constant contact between your arm and the sensors. Take a moment to look through your results. Green indicates areas of improvement on your health while red indicates potential areas of concern. Your heart rate is 71 beats per minute. It is important to note that during exercise your heart rate was above normal. Your blood pressure is at a healthy 115 over 92. Your blood glucose today is at a healthy level between 90 and 150 mg per deciliter. Nice work on maintaining a healthy diet. Your glucose looks improved from last month. We will continue your current insulin prescription and keep an eye on your metrics. Your oxygen saturations remains healthy as well at 99%. Your potassium levels were slightly high this week at 4,260 mg. This is a summary of your MedPod results. Red indicates areas of concern, while green indicates your areas of improvement. Would you like me to go over the concerns in more detail? Your active heart rate was higher than normal during strenuous activity based on data from your Apple Watch. Be careful of how hard you're pushing yourself during exercise. Shall I continue? Here are your potassium results. Note the higher potassium levels in red. Your average was slightly higher than normal. What have you been eating? Try and reduce the amount of red meat or beans in your diet to lower your potassium levels. While potassium promotes growth and regulates the heart's electrical activity, too much or too little can cause abnormal heart rhythms.
Shall I continue? Results from today are available in your MedPod application. Your potassium levels can be improved through a healthier diet. I can send you tips and reminders for healthy meal options. Would you like that? Sure thing. I will send tips to your MedPod application. This is the end of your MedPod exam. Your insulin prescription will be delivered to your home by tonight. Have a great day.